Hi, I'm Jean-Lim, editor of The Economy, and here with me I've got Paul Francois Cartier, president of French Speaking Africa at Schneider Electric. Uh, Paul, thanks a lot for speaking to me. Uh, what are the main trends in Africa right now, in the region that you cover, when it comes to data centers? Oh, when it comes to data centers, so there is, uh, there is many trends uh, mm. happening. So first, you have uh, demographic trends, because mm. uh, Africa will uh, come from 1.2 billion uh, mm. people today mm. uh, to 2 billion people in 2030. These people are the youngest people in, uh, in the world because the median age is uh, 17 mm. years old. Mm. Uh, this means you have a lot of mm. young people that are uh, uh, really uh, mm. impatient to get into uh, new technology, mm. high technology and so on. Together with this, you have a huge smartphone penetration. You will mm. have uh, an addition of uh, 750 million smartphones mm. uh, to be able to connect. So the conjunction of this uh, demographic growth the use of the people and the penetration of smartphones makes really mm. Africa the first digital native continent mm. and uh, uh, it's a huge opportunity mm. Uh, mm. for the mm. future data center industry mm. in, in Africa. Mm. And then looking at places to invest in data center infrastructure, what are the, the hubs that you're seeing showing up? So we know about Nigeria, we know about some other countries. So um, there, first there mm. is size of countries mm. that are different because okay. you have that gigantic mm. country like Nigeria which mm. is 200 million, expected to be 500 million mm. in uh, 30 years. Okay. You have smaller country like Ivory Coast, which is mm. 25 million, but growing GDP 10% per year since five years, and which are the fastest growing country in the world. Mm. So uh, you have very different uh, mm. profile mm. of countries. Mm. You have the Maghreb country like Algeria, Morocco, mm. uh, Tunisia as well. You have mm. a huge country like uh, mm. uh, DRC, mm. uh, Democratic Republic of mm. Congo, which are uh, 80 million inhabitants, mm. but mm. confronted to some uh, political crisis mm. and uh, uh, some mm. issue, uh, mm. uh, internal issue. So it's all very diverse and uh, uh, very specific, mm. but uh, as an overall trend, mm. this is the use of the population and the mm. uh, increasing and huge demand uh, increase of uh, smartphone, mm. mobile on the move, and the incredible mm. innovation that you can find in, in Africa. You, you, you know mm. that uh, Africa on, on, a, on the mobile money account uh, in the world, Africa mm. holds 80% of mm. this mobile money, mm. so it's uh, very, very innovative mm. and it's very promising for the future. Mm. But then again, so when it comes to building the data infrastructure, some people argue because Africa doesn't have the infrastructure today, it's actually not a bad thing because you will be able to serve Africa from other continents, so meaning Europe, South Africa, no, South America. Uh, well, what, what's your opinion about that? Uh, my opinion mm. is that uh, mm. really you have to build your mm. infrastructure in Africa mm. uh, for different reasons. First, mm. uh, it, it's very good to serve from uh, Europe or mm. from US, but you you are, uh, mm. you are, uh, it's a very comfortable way, but you are mm. not bringing the, the level of services that are demanding mm. the, the African people and consumer, mm. because you have issue on the latency time mm. due to the uh, distance, mm. you have issue on the bandwidth, if you mm. start to do mm. video streaming, or if you want to enter uh, augmented reality or virtual reality mm. application and so on, and uh, uh, you, you need well. much more bandwidth and, and so on. Mm. Uh, and you have also uh, most of the African government who are mm. uh, very keen to be sure uh, mm. that they have a, the sovereignty on data, so mm. they want, if you want mm. to operate in a country mm. in Africa, mm. you need to have your data center mm. uh, in the country, and it's a fair, mm. uh, it's a fair demand mm. from them. Mm. They are right to do so, mm. and this is uh, building the, the, the infrastructure. Mm. And today, you have mm. many players uh, already mm. building data center in mm. Africa mm. and, and uh, being very successful in mm. doing it. They are lo most of the time, they are mm. local players. Mm. Okay. Right. And then for example, looking at the whole countries, not just the French-speaking Africa. Yeah. Uh, we've seen in recent weeks, in recent months, a lot of investments made into Africa, multi-million dollar investments. Uh, we have Microsoft investing in South Africa, we have main one in Nigeria building data centers over there, we have in the Horn of Africa a lot of these data centers popping up, um, some other ones in South Africa from other players like Terraco. Um, what's your view of the market? When do you think we're going to have an explosion of data centers? Some people say it's going to take three to five years. What's your personal view on that? So I think this mm. is the, the question of mm. is this a mm. very uh, promising continent mm. for data center and uh, mm. digital technology and so on? Uh, mm. Yes, for sure, with mm. the, the drivers mm. that I quote already. Mm. Another one, which is even uh, bigger, mm. 
uh, which is about the urban urbanization of mm. Africa because mm. uh, uh, today you have 500 mm. million people living mm. in cities. In 30 years from now, you will have 1.5 billion people mm. living in cities. So to really uh, uh, mm. tackle this challenge, you need to build mm. smart cities, infrastructure, Perfect. which mm. means a lot of IoT, which data. is a lot of data and volume mm. and so mm. on. But uh, uh, mm. you have really uh, to, to, to pay attention mm. to, to the latency time mm. and uh, because it's a mm. huge continent. Mm. It's really, uh, you, it takes 12 mm. hours mm. flight to go from west to east mm. in Africa. Mm. So yeah, we don't uh, realize it's six, big, yeah. six hours mm. in, in US. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. so and it's more than 52 countries as well. It's a huge thing. continent, so mm. you cannot uh, uh, mm. uh, forget mm. this distance uh, talking about latency time, mm. bandwidth, and so on, mm. and the number of mm. ops, and so on. So, mm. I understand there is some investment, Terraco, mm. there is some investment in South Africa, and so mm. on, but these countries are mm. not covering the whole continent. Mm. So, they are answering really localized things. So mm. you, you, we need really to mm. build something that is uh, across the continent mm. and respecting mm. the data sovereignty. Mm. Sorry for the people who would like to see <laughs> Africa as one country. Yeah. Well, it's a big there. continent. But the demand is there, mm. the market is there, and nobody, mm. no one of the big mm. players could uh, 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 just say, mm. oh, we, we, can, we uh, can afford to mm. uh, forget two billion people market. Mm. Nobody mm. Can, mm. can do this. Mm. And, and say, I am the, gl the global leader mm. of social mm. networking, of uh, search mm. engine, of uh, uh, mm. video streaming mm. or whatever, and mm. just bypassing mm. two billion of customers. Mm. It's not feasible. Mm. What's your reaction to Microsoft's announcement of building two edge store data centers in South Africa? I think they are right to mm. do so. I, I hope it's just a start because mm. South, South Africa is still a comfortable country mm. because it's, uh, the GDP, mm. uh, individual GDP mm. is, is still uh, very oh, yeah. high. Mm. So they are not taking a lot of risk, but mm. it's the first step. Mm. But really, uh, where we'll, the growth is not coming from South Africa, mm. in Africa, mm. Huh? Mm. Uh, uh, even the, the economy of it's South Africa hard, is yeah. more suffering mm. right now. Mm. The big growth, mm. like the 5, 6, 7, 8 mm. percent GDP growth, are in sub-Saharan country, not mm. in South Africa, mm. not in Maghreb mm. country, mm. in the middle, in the central Africa. Okay. This is a place mm. where the growth happens. Mm. So this is where people should think mm. either to partner with a local co-location mm. player mm. who has already uh, built mm. data center and so on mm. to start with mm. and bring the cloud application mm. here uh, in uh, sub-Saharan mm. Africa. But keeping for the hyperscaler ID in mind, are you going to expect Google, AWS, even Alibaba, because Alibaba, so Chinese companies are very active in Africa. Well, but a lot you, of are, you have African competitors oh. of mm. Alibaba. You have yeah, yeah, local yeah. player. Well, I mean, uh, like the global ones that everyone knows about outside Africa. Do yes. you expect them to move in in the next couple of years as well? I think they will come. Mm. They will come uh, uh, progressively mm. uh, when the um, first mm. they will have their mature market, which growth will mm. slow down a little mm. bit. Uh, they will look for more expansion to satisfy mm. their investors. So they will start mm. to consider a little mm. bit more risky uh, mm. uh, country or, or less obvious country mm. we, where there is a huge uh, mm. demography uh, impact, mm. where is, there is a mm. big increase of the middle class that is uh, uh, growing in most mm. of the country mm. and start to consume a lot mm. of things. Mm. And typically the first consumer, uh, the mm. first uh, buy if you want mm. uh, uh, when you start to have money is mm. a smartphone. Mm. Uh, there is a lot of African people who doesn't have electricity mm. in their home but they have mm. a smartphone mm. uh, to connect to internet mm. uh, easily. Mm. Okay and then to finish would you agree that if oil is the new data data centers are tomorrow's oil refineries? Oil is a new data what do you mean by this? So data is a new oil where you ah, can just... Uh, yeah. Okay, the data mm. is a new value. Uh, mm. you okay, mean, some, okay, people, okay. Some, some people call it the oil. Yeah, and mm. this, is, this is true, and mm. it's even uh, uh, more mm. true in, in Africa because mm. there is a lot of data, personal data mm. for people. Uh, today, mm. uh, the, uh, you have more and more the focus, as I said, of the government mm. to uh, uh, keep the sovereignty on data. And mm. so if you want to operate, you have to have your data mm. localized in the country. Mm. This means data center in the mm. country. So the three reasons to build regional data mm. center for all these global applications mm. are latency, uh, bandwidth, mm. and data sovereignty. Mm. Okay, uh, And after, 
Mm. I think today it's still a, a very uh, open uh, world for the data privacy. Mm. There is very few countries that have established mm. law on data mm. privacy and so on, but this will come mm. as well. Okay. But, but for sure, uh, mm. data, mm. It's, a, it's exactly the same as mm. uh, in San Francisco mm. or in London or in mm. Paris. Uh, mm. You know, people are consuming, they have uh, usage, mm. habits, and mm. this interests the marketing uh, mm. uh, engine of the companies <laughs> and data, mm. and these data are very That's important. Very business. Uh, yeah. Okay, Paul, thanks a lot for talking to me. Uh, don't forget you can follow Data Economy on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and also visit the website on www.data-economy.com.